देखिए मेरे बुबा ने मेन्टल प्रब्लम थी अंदर तेस पच्चीस बिल्कुल गाड़ो भो बुबा लाइन बिल्कुल एम्बुलेंस में हालां हस्पिटल लगे हस्पिटल लगे भोलि पल्ट बिंदु भो सान दुख पड़े थे मैं सान एपेन्डिसाइड भाथ पैला देखिए ना पेट दुख्ते कि अलि अंडा धे नहीं दुखे तीन महीना हस्पिटल बस अस्त हिंदी मैं ये दुखे वाले कुपुर पड़े हिंदे अभी रहते क्या दुखे मैं इस नहीं दिन ना हम दाजू भाई कोई हो तीनटा दीदी बहन मत हो अ दीदी इलेवेन में एटा दीदी को बे भैस अच्छे मर मम्मी मत हम ये भूकंप आने भाग अगड़ी हम बोलना सकते थे डराथ भूकंप आए पी हमें बोलना सीखना बोलना सीखना खोजना आने भाई We are implementing a safe space model in partnership with the Accountability Lab because we believe that the girls can come back better after the earthquake. Uh, this program is being run in uh, Karanitar village of Nuwakot, which is one of the hardest hit district by the earthquake. So most of the people are farmers. Uh, most of the people they go to public school. <laughs> Parents are uh, not very sure about spending or investing more on the girl's education or her other needs, and then there will be higher chances of them dropping out of school. And, and Nuwakot is one of the districts with highest rate of trafficking, girls trafficking. When I mean they have almost lost hope. They feel like there's somebody who is listening to us. There's somebody who is willing to support us. It's not just for one day or one week kind of training. We are mentoring them for nine months. We give them life skills so that they can write their stories and they can publish it. Though they went through the same disaster, same setting, but each girl has her own special story. This one is about community building, identifying what the resources already exist in the community and what how can you make the best use of it. Contemporary lab is completely different from the usual donor recipient relationship. They are more like a friend and they have been helping us design our organization right from like how our mission and vision could be shaped uh, to how what our communication strategy could be, how can we better tell our stories. And uh, every four months we meet, um, and then we and and like we have safety need of 15 girls, we have another safety need for ourselves, the entrepreneurs, and then we share our stories, our learnings, our challenges. It's just a little bit of pushing them, a little bit of supporting them, and then showing them the correct direction. They have, you know, this passion to be the community leaders. And during the earthquake, when like adults were not around, they were the one who were leading the community.